Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is going to be an extended reading for the sign of Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, this is going to be your mid-month extended reading for the sign of Taurus. Okay, general mid-month reading. This is your extended. Okay, and so um, Taurus, what I could tell you is that right now, um, many of you are like, um, listening to your intuition, um, when it comes to, um, listening to what spirit is telling you concerning a past lover. Okay. Where, um, in the past, uh, things were a bit blown out of proportion where things fell apart between you and this past lover who you was involved with when it comes to this temperance card, okay? Because you got the high priest and you got the lover's card and you got the temperance card. Um, your lover represents the sign of Gemini, don't have to be. But like I was saying, with this temperance card, um, where things kind of um, you know, blew out of proportion and fell apart, caused a tower moment with the tower card to come between you and your past person, where that tower, um, that abrupt tower caused things to come to an ending with the death card. Death card represents Scorpio. It don't have to be. Uh, moving along, um, Taurus, you got the justice card. And so, um, basically what justice card stands for Taurus is that now either you or your person is wanting to seek some sort of a balance where this situation in the past weighed you down but now someone is wanting to uh, seek balance and have a change of heart where with this judgment card Taurus um someone is resisting and kind of hesitant when it comes to this connection where someone may not be too sure on whether or not they want to reach out and uh communicate you know whether or not they want to um reach out and call or text or email you know so someone is um being a bit resistant when it comes to this judgment card and so it could be possible Taurus that someone views themselves as being the emperor someone who um is a who feels as though um, they view themselves as being in, in control or um, or you may view your person as being a bit out of control or they may view you as being a bit out of control and that's what led to the breakup. And so you or your person um, views themselves as the empress. Um, the empress who is someone who is abundant. Okay, and so you may view your person as being abundant, or they may view you as being abundant. And so, um, with this magician card, it could be possible that someone is wanting to manifest you in, or you're wanting to manifest your person back in. Because with this world card, the world card normally means that, um, someone doesn't, um, quite see this as being over so someone doesn't view the situation as being the end and so it's possible that either you're still holding on to the situation or your person may be holding on to the uh, past situation or both of you it's possible that both of you may still be holding on to this situation and, and both of you may be wanting to uh, manifest each other in because um with this fool card um, food card represents wanting to take a leap of faith to new journeys when it comes to um, wanting to start over. And it could be possible that in the past, um, someone was a bit reluctant to change, where someone was content with the way things were and was um, content with being where they wanted to be and kind of wanted to stay put. But now someone is wanting to take a leap of faith moving forward. Um, because, um, with this hermit card, you know, many of us are shut in and the hermit card represents Virgo and the fool card represents air sign, which air sign is a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And like I said, the lover's card also represents, um, Gemini. And so, um, 
the death card represents Scorpio. But moving along, um, like I said, this hermit card, many of you could be like going within for answers right now because we are shutting due to the uh, coronavirus. And so you're seeking answers going within. And so with the strength card, um, you're now wanting to uh, put your foot forward and have a bit of faith and trust in the spirit. And, you know, because um, the universe is trying to heal the situation where in the past with this star card, uh, it could be that someone was a bit in denial about admitting their true feelings, how they really felt about this person. So it could be that either you wasn't ready to admit the truth when it came to how you really felt about this person. And so you pretty much was shut down and you didn't um, show your emotions or it could be possible the person you dealt with shut down and wasn't wanting to share their emotions or, you know, letting you know how they really felt or both of you could have pretty much shut down. You know what I'm saying? And pretty much didn't want to show your true feelings for one another. But now you're wanting to um, come out of denial because somebody got like a wake up call after going through some type of karma with that judgment card. And um, and so now you want to desire somebody is having a need to desire to bring this person back. Someone is somebody's wish fulfillment because in the past with this devil card, things were a bit toxic. And so it could be that in the past, either you or your person has some issues dealing with some type of substance abuse. Don't have to be um, where somebody was suffering with some type of addiction. It could be drugs, alcohol, lust, sex, multiple partners, you know, that sort of thing. Um, or it could be some type of um, narcissist behavior in the past where things were a bit toxic and that cause of you know everything to blow out of proportion and fall apart and so now with this wheel of fortune things are beginning to turn in your favor now that you know you two have spent time apart and you have been separated and so now after being apart taking some time to go within and heal and regroup and renew you're now ready to step out on faith and you know come clean on how you really feel about this person and so with the sun card that represents celebrations and being successful and being confident and having the joy that you need to step forward and having the confidence okay to work on um accomplishing your goals when it comes to you and this person okay and so um the sun card normally represents leo the star card represents aquarius the devil card represents um, Capricorn, Hermit, Virgo, Fool card, Air sign, Lovers card, Gemini, Death card, Scorpio. Okay, so uh, so again, Taurus, this has been your extended reading. Okay, Taurus. So again, you got the Justice card, Death card, Tower card, Tempest card, Lovers card, High Priest, Judgment, Emperor, Empress, Magician, World, Fool. Sun, Wheel of Fortune, Devil, Star, Strength, and Hermit. So this has been your uh, mid-month extended version for the sign of Taurus for the last two weeks of May. Okay, Taurus? As always, have a blessed one. I'm out.